Hassania, and welcome to the community. As promised, this is the follow-up video to the 100 Envelope Challenge. I heard you when you said, that's too much money. I don't got that kind of money. Right now, my finances are not mathy. The math is not mathy. I heard you, okay? So here I am with the modified 100 Envelope. Here's some ideas. Get your pen and paper out. You could pick one envelope a week. If you pick one envelope a week, when you're done, you will still have the same amount as the original 100 envelope challenge. But this will be extended beyond a year. If you do a 52 week challenge, which is a year, you could pick two envelopes a week and end in 365 days. So it won't be extended beyond a year, okay? Say that doesn't work for you either. You could do bi-weekly envelopes every other week. So maybe you get paid bi-weekly every other week. Then you could do an envelope or you could pick two envelopes. You see, do what works for you, beloved. The idea is to start saving your money because you need to save and get out of debt or you just need to save for emergencies, okay? That's what we're working on here, saving. Getting our debt down and saving. Just think of it that way. This is not hard. Do it the way that you know you will stick to it. What works, okay? Also, you could just label two sets of envelopes, 100 total, one set, one through 50, the other set, one through 50, right? So then you don't ever have to come up with $100, $98, $78, the most you have to come up with at one time will be 50 bucks. See, that's doable too. Or still, you could just do one through 50. Just, just 50 envelopes, one through 50. When you finish that, let me look at my notes here, you'll have $1,275. You could modify the 100 envelope challenge even further by creating four groups of envelopes. Your 100 envelopes, each envelope, is 25, four times 25 is 100. And you just label them one through 25. So then you don't have to come up with more than $25 if you pick an envelope. See what I'm saying? You'll be done. You can be done in the same amount of time, your 100 days. Here's another variation if that doesn't work for you either. Take your 100 envelopes, split them into five equal groups, right? So that's 20 in each grouping. Label those 20 envelopes, one through 20, then that way you don't have to come up with more than $20. You see what I'm saying? Or you could just strategically pick the envelope. I'm broke right now. I'm just doing the ones, the five, then I'm going to do 11 and 12. And then maybe if something amazing happens in between or I got some extra money, I'm going to do the 100 or the 98. It's up to you. Beloved, it's your money. Again, we're trying to save money. I'm sorry, I'm going to digress for a few seconds, okay? I'm just thinking about all the names for money, all the euphemisms for money. I'm just gonna do a few, okay? So I can get it out of my system and then we'll be done, all right? So here goes. The common one is coins, right? Money, coins. But I was raised in the 80s and 90s. So here's some. Okay, you can't say that word. Deceased presidents. Cabbage, celery, lettuce, cheddar, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. guap, yes, guap, my favorite because it feels fun to say, skrilla, okay, that's that A-A-V-E, skrilla, the narrow, ducats, I could go on and on all day, this is so fun, but unless you ask me down below, I won't, okay, I won't say anymore. Thank you for watching, and as always, God bless you, and God bless you.